Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet, powered by Fandom Wire. Visit fandomwire.com for all your news, movie news, TV news, as well as on Facebook, Fandom Wire News. Go give us a like, and you can get exclusives like this right away. Uh, but here's a story at hand. We have an exclusive about Boba Fett. Yes, everyone is talking about his, spoiler alert, cameo uh, in Mandalorian Season 2. There's more to this story that I'm happy to report, but before I do, I want to sort of express my own frustrations uh, why we didn't report that cameo. One, we were still vetting... Uh, something which i'll explain so again spoiler alerts for if you if you like your cameos to not be spoiled you shouldn't be watching this but sorry we already did uh but i'm frustrated that news movie news has just become here's who to expect in all the movies and tv shows like it should be better than that it's frustrating because you don't even have a choice in the headlines uh, when i saw that Hollywood reporter article come out by aaron couch and uh, it just boba fett and mandalorian season two it's like you can't avoid it uh, and it's frustrating because that would have been a nice little surprise, like, whoa, like they did with Baby Yoda. Uh, they're revealing all of these sort of big cameos ahead of time, and I don't think that really is Disney's doing. I could be wrong. They could be trying to drum up more interest, but I don't think they need it. I think people are excited for Mandalorian Season 2, and by having these surprises happen, the fans would have been more excited and, and, and whatnot. So I, I don't like that we're revealing these. The story we were going to originally we've been working on and now we're ready to put to air uh, was this one, which isn't really about his cameo, but now that's out there. So I'll, I'll talk about it a bit as well. Uh, but the real story that we've gotten uh, again, based off of our exclusive sources uh, over at Phantom Wire, uh, we can uh, talk about the fact that Boba Fett is actually, uh, they're working on a solo project that's in development over on Disney plus. Now what this means is yes, he's going to make a cameo in Mandalorian season two, but as Disney sort of implied, they're using Mandalorian as a way to, test characters and then have them go out into other series. And I'm going to actually have some other uh, big exclusives to drop throughout the week uh, and over on phantomwire.com. So make sure you're following us all to get in the loop. Uh, but part one of our story here is the fact that Boba Fett's not just coming back to Mandalorian. He's getting his own show guys or his own movie. It's still unclear where they're going to put it. If it's going to be a full length movie or a limited series or a continuing series, but Disney Plus doesn't want to just do series anymore. They're ready to start doing features. That's why we're starting to get more uh, projects out there. Uh, and they want to put features out there in addition to their series so they can sort of attempt to use some of these characters in ways that they were hoping to, but then not feel the pressure of, oh, well, how do we do a full entire series run? And so Boba Fett is a fan favorite character that Kathleen Kennedy Lucasfilm, they are betting that you, the fans, want to see more of. And so they're already prepping a project original standalone project for Boba Fett. Uh, details still are scarce, scarce on what that actually is, uh, but we can confirm there is not just a cameo, but a entire show or project rather uh, in the works. Uh, so here's what we know so far. Obviously this was reported uh, earlier. Hollywood broke, Hollywood reporters sort of put this out, broke it first, uh, that Django Fett actor Tamora Morrison will return. Uh, and we're, while we were actually trying to confirm the fact that there's actually two cameos. Again, that's why I gave you the spoiler alert. Captain Rex from Clone Wars is also supposed to make an appearance in this show. So Tim Morrison could be playing either or both characters in the upcoming season. So that's why, one, we didn't want to just spoil it. But two, we're, I'm still trying to figure out which one it is uh, or if they're both there, if they're saving one. It's still a little uh, to be determined, but Hollywood Reporter has now gone on record saying, well, it's Boba Fett. Uh, usually they're pretty good, but they've been wrong. They could still be wrong. But just know, like, He's coming back for sure, uh, and he is supposedly back in both characters. That's the other thing we have to hear to, 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 to confirm. Uh, so they're both going to be in there, but again, the Boba Fett solo project is really what we're focused on. And it's important we go back when we really think about what this project could be, because there have been two, some awesome fan, fan work I, I, throughout this article, by the way. This one's from uh, Pablo Olivera, Olivi, uh, which I really dug. Uh, but if we go back, you got to go back to the first attempt at this, which was through Josh Trank. Josh Trank's actually back right now. Fascinating. Uh, he's doing a new movie called uh, Capone, uh, starring Tom Hardy. But if you guys don't remember Josh Trank, he made Chronicle and then to much success. And then he made Fantastic Four to the opposite of success. Uh, and he sort of then disappeared, seemed to be put in Hollywood movie jail uh, and uh, is labeled difficult to work with and, and terrible. Uh, and so now he's back. He's making a Tom Hardy movie about Al Capone. Uh, and it just dropped today on digital. I haven't seen it, but the reviews are pretty all out there. It's being compared to like a John Waters film. Uh, it's not the Capone movie you'd expect. And some people love it. Some people are using this as an opportunity to tear Josh Trank down even further. But I got to applaud Josh Trank because he's uh, he did an article with Polygon. I, I, I'll link it down below in the description. Uh, but look it up. It's a pretty fascinating. And it's a very in-depth piece about his whole background, what happened, his story, you know, Fantastic Four, Star Wars, et cetera. Uh, 
so check that out the side video maybe potentially but uh, i'd love to talk to him it's also going to do an interview with him for hugging the cactus but uh so josh please uh reach out i'd love to to talk to you fairly um he actually talked to us about an honest trailer we were trying to get him to do the fantastic four on his trailer another filmmaker had connected us and he was considering it and then he just decided not to do it um but uh look i'm a fan of josh trank in that i applaud that he's coming back i applaud that he stood his ground i'm applaud that he sort of calls out the bs of hollywood uh his work tbd on how it, it, it stands the test of time uh, but now he's at least acknowledging his own faults in Fantastic Four and his hubris. Uh, and the article's pre I think, a worthy read to learn more about uh, the myth of Josh Trank and really what was what was real. But what we do know is that he was working on a Boba Fett feature back in 2015 uh, before leaving. Uh, and how he left has sort of been up to debate. Um, but he apparently, while most sort of trades said he was fired, it was a mutual thing. He, he actually quit before they could fire him uh he said he was sick before their comic-con panel and it was clear that even though disney hadn't seen uh fantastic four yet the writing was on the wall that he was troubled that the film was in trouble and that they didn't want to then have their first big standalone piece be directed by him so it was a mutual parting of the ways but clearly disney wanted him gone and josh took his own initiative to say i want out before they did it um, so that's what actually happened. But he talks about his project a little bit, a little bit in the uh, piece as well. Uh, at, this is from the article. At the time, Trank rented a house in Benedict Canyon, just a few blocks from where George Lucas lived, with his editor and wife, Marsha Lucas, where he wrote the first draft of Star Wars. With a few days to mull over, Kinberg, Simon Kinberg had made them this offer. Do you want to do a standalone Star Wars movie? So he was thinking about the offer that Kinberg had give, given him. Trank walked up to the Lucas house, uh, where he had written everything, and, and basked in its glow. He called it the most surreal moment of his, one of his most surreal moments of his life. The visions that I had in that moment were just out of this world he said he walked back to his home with a three-act pitch for a Boba Fett movie um, and so that's that's what he sort of reveals right so it was a three-act pitch some amazing visions that he got inspired walking by the home where George Lucas uh, wrote the first draft of Star Wars uh, and uh, you can read that whole article in Polygon uh, so Lucasfilm clearly has that piece as I, as I write in my article uh, and you gotta remember Josh Trank wasn't the only one to write a piece now Josh Trank obviously isn't working for Star Wars and they fired him or he quit, whatever the case may be. But they clearly didn't fire him because of his creative pitch. Clearly they liked it. They fired him because of the performance of the movie and his drama on set as a director. Uh, so the idea that they liked a pitch means there's clearly a good pitch for Boba Fett lying around Lucasfilm, right? And let's not forget, Josh Trank was the first. The second one that was confirmed to be making a movie was James Mangold. He was coming in to make a uh, Boba Fett movie. Uh, and now that also was recently canceled as well with him moving on to other projects. Uh, so between James Mangold's project, between Josh Trank's project, Boba Fett's been one they've been trying to get off the ground for a while now, but it's been stuck in the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> uh, but now is, they've clearly are continuing to have this happen because I, I suspect, again, I'm speculating a little bit, I suspect this has been a plan for a while. All right, we're going to put him finally in this movie. How do we make sure we have the right piece? Maybe, again, maybe Mangold didn't like this idea of connecting it to Mandalorian or time period or Morrison as an actor. Who knows what happened? But we know why Josh Trank left. Still TBD on why... Uh, uh, Mangold left but the fact is those the, look they had a creative pitch from Trank they liked Mangold's a talented guy right now I can't imagine there's not already some really good Boba Fett storyline or, or plan or pitch in the you know in Lucasfilm so why waste it why would you waste that especially if you're going to bring him back for Mandalorian that is the goal here they absolutely want to bring him back bigger than just a cameo they are intending to make a series and or movie depending on how it's sort of it's pushed out uh and i know we know we've been confirmed that they are working on this pretty uh actively behind the scenes to make sure this works because again if this works uh this is going to be something they want to fast track and be ready to go with immediately uh and so you know that's that's the plan currently uh, and as you guys will recall the, uh, you may know or don't know again spoiler alert uh, but Hollywood Reporter also reported this, and we've heard the same same rumor that that character that shows up at the end of episode five, uh, the gunslinger, where Ming Na Wen is is sort of carried off, uh, it is implied heavily that that was Boba, um, and so we'll find out. Uh, also, great art, fan art by uh, Ultra Raw Twenty Six here. Want to give credit where it's due. Um, but uh, look, it makes sense to have him there, but he's not a real Mandalorian. It's the other thing; he's a clone. So there's an interesting dynamic there of sort of introducing this character using the armor and not really being 
you know, tr- true. Uh, so that could be an interesting subplot of Mandalor of the Mandalorian. Absolutely. Do they, do they know Boba Fett? Is he like sort of known among as a batter b- bounty hunter? Would Mandalorian, would Din Djarin know who he is? There's some fascinating stuff there that I'm actually very curious. And I think it, may, it fits well into the Mandalorian storyline. Uh, but it's interesting to know, to see that Star Wars like, no, we also are going to focus on Boba Fett. And I'm, I'm still torn on whether that's good or not. Uh, did we get our Boba Fett fix through Mandalorian or do we really want more, <laughs> you know, of, well, we got Din Djarin now and all the other ones, we, you know, all the other cool characters we met in Mandalorian in those episodes, but now we get to finally meet Boba Fett who we sort of learned through obviously the prequels was a clone son of Jango Fett. Um, uh, look, I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to see more, but they've given us opportunity to sort of introduce a new Mandalorian bounty hunter. Uh, and I'm on board with that. So to have a competing bounty hunter project feels weird. To have a standalone movie starring Boba Fett, okay, interesting. I love this idea of standalone Star Wars movies, uh, and I love to hear that they're actually working on those. And I can't wait to. I hope they do more. They can be slightly cheaper. They can they can build out the catalog with a bunch of cool standalone stories, different things. And we have more that we're reporting on this week. Again, remind you to so subscribe if you haven't already over to this channel and over on Phantom Wire News on Facebook. Uh, but uh, what do you guys think? So the, the basic gist here, m- movie and or series, it seems like it's leaning towards a movie uh, is what's happening uh, behind the scenes over in Disney Plus of for Boba Fett. How fans react to him in the upcoming season, I think will also help determine what that becomes. Uh, but the project is absolutely in active development. Uh, we will see more of him in the coming t- uh, months, actually. It's coming up in September. Uh, so stay tuned. What do you guys think, though? Do you want more movies more shows do you want more boba fett i want to hear all your comments down below what are the characters do you hope will come by i may be revealing some more this week that you say uh so i'll, I'll call you out if you do so leave us so help me uh, be active in the comments down below smash that like button share this if you can get the word out there and i'm gonna put up a playlist of all the other exclusives that i've been scoring i hope you guys will check them out lots of stuff uh in store that i'm excited about uh so stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for more star wars scoops throughout the week uh, as well as other fun content thanks everybody for watching bye bye